Hello, everybody. <laughs> You're welcome. Hi, Debbie. Gonna wait for a few others to get on. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Thanks for joining in. Now for this one, unlike the project recipes, you can sit back and relax or you can grab your border maker and which looks like this. Maybe it's still in a box, but it looks like this. Hi, Stacy. So if you want to play along, you can grab your border maker and some cartridges and I'm just going to give you some tips on the border maker system. Canada's in the house. Hey Trish. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in. Just a couple minutes after. Hi, Rosie. But I wanna go ahead and get started. Oh, hey, Marshall. I, I don't know if Lucille is watching. She was texting me about where it was, um, uh, where she was gonna be able to find us. All right, so tonight for tool time with Tara, I'm your host, Tara. Um, I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks with the border maker system. So you may have the border maker, may still be in its package. I'm just gonna go through the different components of it. So you've got two pieces um, that make up the border maker system. You've got this guy, which your cartridge goes into, and you want the prongs part of the cartridge facing out. So when you put it in, it goes like this. And you've got the little prongs sticking out. And I'll show you where those where those come into play in just a second. So you've got this piece. And a lot of times when people first get it, if they haven't watched a video or you know, seen it in action in person, they might just start punching things. And then they get frustrated that things aren't lined up. This is one of my very favorite tools from Creative Memories. So this piece, you'll notice there's like a, a big notch and a little notch. These line up with this so that as you move the cutter along this guide, you get a perfect cut every time. So now to get the right amount of paper out, that's what this is for. So this little piece on the bottom is only so that the right amount of paper is out of your, um, is out of your guide. This, we've got two magnets going on. There's also measurements here. If you're looking in millimeter, millimeters or centimeters and inches, if you're looking for a specific, um, you know, piece of paper for, for a border. Um, okay, so I'm gonna just jump right in with the first border. I'm just 
grabbed some scrap paper here for this purpose. So this, the first thing you're gonna do is flip this up and pass your paper on through here. And then this flips down. So now it's locked in place, but you can't, you can't cut yet because this needs to come around. So you flip it back underneath. Now your paper is ready to go. And if you notice, there's a little, where this is, you do not hear me talking. Does anyone else hear me talking? Thumbs up if you can hear me talking. Stacy, can you hear me talking? Can anyone hear me? Can anyone hear me? Is Debbie the only one that can't hear me or can no one hear me? Have you heard me the whole time, Stacy? <laughs> or do you just hear me right now? Can someone let me know if you've heard me the whole time or just right now? Okay, could you hear me from the beginning though? when I was talking about all the parts? Okay, good. All right, so Debbie, maybe your volume is down. Because everybody, everyone seems to be able to hear me. Okay, so you've got a notch here on the top. Okay, thank you, Cindy. You've got a notch here on the top, and then there's little notches along here. And this is where um, these notches line up. Let me come bring it into the light. see how these two notches are lined up that that also means that these are sitting in the right place okay there must be a delay okay <laughs> all right so now i'm going to start cutting now with this border maker in particular i find when there's a border maker that has a lot of little intricate pieces sometimes it's a little easier to work from the bottom to the top or the top to the bottom, depending on how you're holding it. So if you start to punch and the little pieces kind of get hung up, then you might want to try the other way. Here's another little interesting tidbit. If you're a long time border maker user, you may or may not know, but the little picture on your, on your border maker, I know it's a little hard to see with the light. Try to get it just right, okay. So you see how there's no flat line on this design. That means that this punch is gonna fall away from your paper. So this is the design and it's gonna fall away and be a border all on its own. If you have a cartridge that's like this, again, let me try catch the light just right. Okay, can you see it? Now it's upside down for you. Um, Oh, there we go. There is a flat line on the bottom. What that means is it's gonna stay attached to your paper. So it's not gonna fall away. It's gonna actually cut a border on the edge. So if there's a line, it's gonna stay attached to your paper, the design. If there's not a line, then like this, um, the new cloud one that just came out, let me show it here. <clears throat> these are the ones that are available right now from Creative Memories. And these puppies do sell out. So this one just came out on yesterday. And you see how it has a flat line. So that is going to stay attached to the paper. So it's going to add these little like bubbles or clouds to the edge of your paper. As will this. As will the, um, the car and the truck. And I forgot that I ordered that in the last um, batch and um, I sold it already. I sold mine. So I need to quick reorder another one of those for me. So that's, I was gonna, um, I was gonna show you that. Okay, so all of these ones that don't have a flat bottom will fall away. They're just, they'll, they're, they'll fall away and you can layer them and you can add them to, to like a piece of um, cardstock. So that's what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna show you that. Okay, so I'm gonna start from the top down on this one. So I get my first little notches lined up, press, slide, press, 
slide. Press. It's so, it's so easy. It's really one of my, it's one of the easiest tools. And I will say that Creative Memories has gotten better. It didn't used to be that when you punched, you would get a nice flat edge. Some of the older ones, when you punch, you end up with little like doodads left over and then you gotta get your straight trimmer involved and get yourself a nice clean edge again. But with the newer ones, it gives you a nice clean edge as you're working. Okay, I'm gonna grab another piece of green here. All right, so we're gonna go through the steps again. We're gonna flip out, pop this up. That's magnets to hold it in place. I'm gonna flip this down and flip this around. Okay, now we're ready to rock and roll for the next one. It's really one of the fastest ways to make borders. <clears throat> I know these cartridges, you know, aren't cheap. They're $18.50 a piece. And I mean, people collect these. I, I have, I don't know, so many, maybe 40 that I've collected over the years. So the old CM ones are blue, black, um, our Memories for Life had some. I've got some teal ones and white ones from them. So, uh, you know, you'll there's tons out there. You'll find them on eBay. People are selling them for a ridiculous amount of money. Some of the retired ones that are hard to find. But you definitely find your favorites. Okay, so I've got two different color greens on there. And I'm going to get my favorite trimmer ever in the whole world. And just cut a two inch strip here. And then just lay my borders on here. Now you can just go straight down all the way. Yay, Debbie. Um, or you can layer them like this, kind of stagger them. When I do that, I like to um, grab a pair of scissors, which are buried around here somewhere, so that you don't have this flat edge down here. You can kind of round one of these edges. And like this. So you can go all the way down. You can layer them up. You can add, you know, this is some evergreen. You can do, you know, add some little red circles. And now you got some holly berry going on for winter. So I, I definitely love this one. I'm trying to show ones that are current right now to the line so that you get some ideas. But this is, this is a really great one. Um, now, in prepping for tonight, I found out that CM is doing something a little different. When you first get the border maker system, which is 3550, you get the picket fence, which is how it's always been, and then you get a choice of one extra bonus one. Well, these used to be ones that were available to purchase. So, they used to be you would pick another one, say, from here. Not the new ones, but some of the older ones would be your choice when you're checking out. Well, now I noticed one of them is available right now, but the other three are not available to purchase. So that's interesting to me. This one is not even available to purchase, and it's very, it's very interesting. I don't I don't remember it ever being out. So um, that one's kind of exclusive. This one is an evergreen tree, which we had in the past. That's why mine's blue. And that was a huge fan favorite. And then there's some bubbles. And if you've been around 
a really long time. Let me blow the dust off this. You might recognize this punch. Well, this the bubbles is very similar to this old punch. Um, so now you can get a strip of bubbles. So that's great for your beach and, and different things. So if you don't have the border maker system, now is a great time to get it. You can pick one of these, like have access to a, the old evergreen one or some of these ones that um, aren't available. Um, or, or of course you can pick the medallion frame that's available now. Um, so these are the current offerings and like I said, they do tend to sell up. Okay, let me show you. Okay, so I've showed you what what they're like if they fall away. Um, they don't have a straight line. And if they're attached to the paper, they do have a straight line. Okay, some of them, from the picture on the front, you think it's maybe kind of small. And then you flip it over. This is actually a pretty large border maker cartridge. So I'm going to... cut a strip of white out of this to show you not only um, I'm going to go from the top again these just come out perfect every time such a, such an easy tool such as such an easy tool to use okay so we've got these sizable leaves which um, are great I've seen some really great ideas where people have cut them apart so again um, you can these are leaves you can put down so here's your border straight on the paper one of the first things I saw when um, when I saw this border maker cartridge was I saw like fish bones um, so you can also, in some of these cartridges, use the inside pieces. So if you've got like a cat page, now you've got some fish bones, or maybe you're having pictures of your Mother's Day dinner that was fish and you wanna have some fish bones, um, or you're catching fish, whatever. So that's one of the things. You can also clip off these middle ones Okay, so let's see. We can clip off the back ones. Now we can um, clip off these middle guys. And now you've got an arrow. Of course, I'm doing this quickly. So this is not the nicest looking arrow you've ever seen. But you've got, a, you've got some arrows. So you can definitely use these scraps for things. And then like I started to say, I've seen some really great ideas um, with the with this one in particular with different tail feathers for a turkey. Um, really, really cute turkey idea. And I'll post that in the comments after um, for anyone that would be interested in that. So this cartridge also is still available. <laughs> Thanks, Marshall. Oh. All right, so next up, I'm going to show you this one. This one's the tweed one. I like this one because, you know, um, I don't know. It seems like people are always looking for some masculine um, type stuff that maybe we're kind of at a loss for, I don't know, for borders and doodads for, you know, dads and the men in our lives. So this one is the Tweed, also still available. Okay. Now, my workshops, I, th I think I mentioned that I have quite a library. Of course, I'm not doing in-person person workshops right now, but I have quite a library, and of course, tools are, you know, non-consumable, so they're always out for people to use. So this is what the Tweed looks like. And then you just grab a slice of blue. Hey, to everyone that thinks they need a whole six foot table to work, I, I, you know, 
I'm working here in like 12 inches on my custom cutting system mat here. All right, that's not entirely true. I have six foot tables around me and they are piled high with stuff. All right, so now that's it. Quick border, I love it. Do you like it? <laughs> Jerry's out. All right, well, so that's the tweed. If you don't have that one, you will love the tweed. This is another one where, um, you know, you can use the little inside pieces as confetti if you're the type of person that saves every little every little scrap for something else. All right, so now, lastly, I wanted to show how you can layer some things. Hi, Kim. So glad to see you on here. So this, my version of this is ancient, right? <laughs> um, but we, a Creative Memories actually still sells this. It's a different color. I mean, it's a great tool. So what I'm looking for here to show you is kind of rolling hills. And I'm going to put in the evergreen, the evergreen punch. Then I'm going to show you one more trick, which those of you that have used this for a long time, like I just figured this out in the last, I don't know, in the last year, it kind of blew my mind. Um, so hopefully I can share something new with you. So this um, cartridge is, I don't know, maybe over 10 straight line and having to do four straight line and having to do four. I'm not sure I know exactly what you mean, Marshall. Please explain while I trim, what? while I drop my paper on the floor. Okay, so the tree punch is one that leaves it attached, right? Like we talked about at the beginning, that has a straight, that's straight on the bottom. And I've got my little rolling hills, right? So because it's attached, with this one in particular, what I like to do is do a little tear. but you can trim and then you can lay it on the paper. You can also do different colors of green. Um, if you don't like it that way, let's see. I like this particular, the borders don't come. Yes. Yep. Yeah. The ones with the straight do not, do not come away from the paper like this one. I like to do them. Um, you can do them at the top. You can do them at the bottom. You can cut them away. You can make it look like, oh, now we're have a lake. Um, they can, you can do mountains. So you can do so, so much with, um, with, the border maker system. All right, so now what I wanted to show you was, oh, I love this one. This is one of my new favorites. Let me get some green paper here. Okay, so actually I should get a little scrap piece of paper. All right, so here's the situation. Oh, would you have four different strips of paper? You wouldn't want to cut them at the same time. So you would want to, you would, you could definitely do like the first one I showed with this one where I did two different, um, two different colors of green and layered them. 
um, you can do that. You can do as many layers as you want. Um, and then you would just trim them away. Yes. Well, that's what I was going to do, Trish, when I thought I had the cartridge and I forgot I sold it. Okay, so this is what I wanted to show you. So I already explained how you, the first thing you do is flip out the bottom and pass your, pass your piece through. Now, this one doesn't have a lot going on on the magnet, but it actually will work. So let me get something smaller than that so you can really see my trick here. Okay, so this one is not going to reach. So that is, this is a good one to show. All right, so... What you can do, if you have a small piece of paper, is you can flip it over and use it like this. Um, so what you want to do is first drag the paper down so it's aligning up with the bottom. And you want to make sure you have good contact with the side. And go ahead and punch. And this is what you're going to get. Now, you want to make sure you always go back to where you line up where you just finished with the bottom and punch. So you can connect them that way and that's how you can use these really small pieces of paper. Which I, you know, if especially if I it's my last piece of paper and shoot, I need to, you know, finish a border um then I want to make sure I can get every little piece. So it can be frustrating if you think you need like a three or four inch piece of paper. Now the do little doodads kind of get fly all over with this method. But there's my piece. And now I've got this really tiny little piece but you can still do it as long as it's wide enough to be covered by the design, then you can go ahead and do it. It's not as fast. If you've been watching from the beginning, then you know how fast it is to just zip up with a bigger piece of paper, but you can do it with a piece, even just an inch for this particular one. It just depends on how wide this is. So if you didn't know that before, or maybe you didn't know what to do with this silly thing. And so maybe that's how you've been doing it all along. But so if that's the case, I hope you learned how to use this tonight because it will definitely go much, much faster for you. Does um, anyone have any questions before, before I sign off? What is that cartridge? Which one? The one that I was just using? This one? This one is, um, I can never remember the names of them. This is the new Spring Leaf cartridge. There's the Simple Leaf Chain cartridge. I demoed that one tonight. Um, this one came out two weeks ago, the On the Road cartridge. And, um, and this one's the Timeless Tweed. So those are the, the new, this is the one that just came out yesterday. So if you don't have that one, you'll wanna grab that one soon. You can message me. I do have some retired ones. So if you're interested, and they are not available online through Creative Memories, but I do have some if you're interested in those. With this one, Audrey? Yes, this is still available. All these ones right here are available now. And I love um, this one with, you know, just like I did with this at the beginning, 
with different colors, greens. I love doing this one with different color greens um, and then adding, sprinkling some on there. Yes, the car just came out two weeks ago and it is, um, it is still available. Uh, this one, Marshall. <laughs> That's the one you want, Marshall? You can message me and let me know which one. And yes, Audrey, the car is still available. It just came out two weeks ago. All righty. Well, thank you all for joining me for Tool Time with Tara. And... I will hope to see you again soon. Don't forget, we have a Zoom um, scrapbook crop on Friday afternoon from 1 to 4. So if you are available, you can go to energeticexpression.com forward slash calendar and you can click on the link to join. So if you're available in the afternoon, join us and... Um, if you need any of these border, you're welcome, everyone. If you need any of these new border maker cartridges for your collection, you can message me, and um, I will see you all soon. Thanks so much for being on tonight. Stay scrappy.